745 to 61. At noon, the whole country was covered with darkness, which lasted for three hours. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lamai. The Bactani, which means, My God, my God, why did you abandon me? Some of the people standing there heard him and said he's calling for Elijah. One of them ran up and took a sponge, soaked it in cheap wine, put it on the end of a stick and tried to make him drink it. But the other said, wait, let us see if Elijah is coming to save him. Jesus again gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Then the curtain hanging in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split apart. The graves broke open and many of God's people who had died were raised to life. They left the graves and after Jesus rose from the dead, they went into the holy city where many people saw them. When the army officer and the soldiers with him who were watching Jesus saw the earthquake and everything else that happened, they were terrified and said, he really was the Son of God. There were many people there looking on from a distance who followed Jesus from a Galilee and helped him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the wife of Zebedee. When it was evening, a rich man from Arimathea arrived. His name was Joseph and he was also a disciple of Jesus. He went into the presence of Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate gave orders for the body to be given to Joseph. So Jesus took it, wrapped it in a new linen sheet and placed it in his own tomb which he just recently dug out of solid rock. Then he rolled a large stone across the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there facing the tomb.